Thank you. All right. Listen up, people. Let's see what they have for us today. What do you want to bet it's another thermal scan? You think? It's not like we've had four therms in a row or anything. Interplanetary strategic reconnaissance. In space, no one can hear you yawn. Yeah, go ahead and play it, Tess. Here it comes. Good day. 32 hours ago, our monitoring station on Quad L detected a transmission in an unregistered frequency emanating from the asteroid Vesta. Our analysts have not yet determined its nature, but in all likelihood, it's probably just radioactive venting from beneath the asteroid's surface. Normally, we classify this as an anomaly and give it no further notice. However, recent intelligence indicates the Confederation may be developing a transmission protocol that disguises itself as natural geologic emissions. On the off chance this is such a transmission, and the Confederation has established a base on Vesta, we need you to swing by and do a complete thermal, thermal scan, scan of the asteroid's surface. This is probably nothing, but we need you to take a look anyway. You folks are doing a great job out there. Keep it up. That is all for now. Nova, initiate an OMS gimbal test and prep for burn. Mid-deck, retract solar arrays and stow your antenna and... Switch to sub-M telemetry. You copy that? Roger. Roger that. This whole thing is a goddamn no run. I hate thermal scans. Just once, I'd like to do a radioactivity spectral scan at anything, or a, a subatomic probability fluctuation comparison. <sighs> that would be sweet. You know, instead we get submantle magma farts. It's getting really depressing. I just wish we had some excitement on this tour. You know, careful what you wish for. So one day, Jesus says to his disciples, the kingdom of heaven is like 3x squared plus 8x minus 9. One of the disciples turns to Peter and says, what the heck does that mean? Peter says, eh, don't worry. It's just another one of his parabolas. <laughs> Get it? Parabola? I think I've heard that one before. Did you hear the one about the quantum car? Those two are wearing my last nerve. So oh, they're just horsing around, letting off some steam. It's the end of a long tour. I understand, but when People get too familiar. People start slacking off, uh, taking liberties. So the kings decide to send their knights out to do battle, right? But at the camp of the third king, there's only one knight and his squire. So the squire decides to take a large pot and he hangs it with a looped rope from a tall tree. I suppose. I just remember when I was down there. There are I two to... kinds of leaders. Those that lead by being everybody's best friend and those that lead by being well, a little bit of an asshole. You like to be everybody's friend. I, on the other hand, am an asshole. Because when push comes to shove, a crew will always do more for an asshole than a buddy. Hmm? So, that just proves that the squire of the high pot and noose is equal to the squires of the other two sides. Get it? The squires of the other two sides? <laughs> I don't care. What the hell is this? We've been targeted. What? We've been targeted by a class and spinner launched from the surface. God damn it. Uh, evasion sequence on it. Tessa, give me the numbers. Speed. 25,000. Distance 120 kilometers and closing. 100 kilometers. Uh, how did it get so close? It came out of nowhere. I've got a sequence. TR-115. Initiate evasion sequence. Tango Romeo-115. A plasma signature. 80 kilometers and closing. The injectors and do a coolant wash on the nozzle. Injectors closed. Coolant wash on. Where is it? It's got a slight deflection, but still closing. Speed is now 30,000, distance 70 kilometers. Stow the antennas and the panel. Roger. So not in the mood for this right now. Come on, deflect. Deflect, that damn it! Distance 50 kilometers. Intercept probability. 90%. Full lockdown. Do an SSME propellant dump and prime the fire suppression system. Arming Freonic signatures. 30 and closing. 25. 20. 
strike probability at 97%. 10. 5. Brace for impact! Where to go? I think he missed us. I can also get a load of all sorts of acid in this place, but I've got fun. Needles are buried, and I've got more candies on all the stomach trees. Switching on of those, diverting power to the system recovery. How are we doing down there? We got a fire here in the electrical system assembly. Detectors are an alarm here and the equipment bay. I'm reading flow imbalance. Chamber. I've also got pressure drops in A3, A4, and A5 pressure, and it goes to tanks. I'm initiating an emergency shutdown of those tanks, sealing the valve. Otto, can you grab a phone and help me out over here? I'll be right there. How's the pressure on the RCF truck? Fine. It's the main gyro. Switch the backup GPC. Switching the backup GPC. Damn it! I can't fire the main until we straighten out of this yaw. Switch your over there. I got it. Can we break up the fans and get some of that smoke clear? It's already smoked. Alright. We're out of this Initiate a five-second plasma burst. Get us the hell out of here before they hit us again. Xenon floor full. Ion injector ready. Plasma burst. Let's go. Cabin vent and increase pressure to 16 psi and do a leak check. Tessa, start a full diagnostic. Uh oh. Hey, uh, we got a pretty major drop in atmo going on here. How major? Major, major. We're at 13.9 psi and heading south. We've got a pretty nasty leak somewhere. Where? Hold on, I'm looking. Seal the hatches to the crew compartment and fire the chemical oxygen generator. O2 generator fire. Negative on the generator. Pin did not fire. It could have bled its charge when we got hit. Come on, come on. Otto. Look, there. It's somewhere down in the equipment bay. I'm gonna go check it out. Yeah, we think so. Otto's heading down to the equipment bay. Yes. Constituent analyzer. Let me know if there's any changes to the mix. Copy that. Wait. What's that smell? Does anybody else smell that? We've got a rupture on one of the ammonia boilers. Go down there and see if you can help them out. Alright, what do we got? Otto's in the equipment bay checking for me. But we've got to break somewhere in one of the ammonia boilers. Alright, let's start looking up this floor. We've got to find that leak. Well, these control panels are going to start overheating and shut down. Where are you, Otto? I'm, uh... In the forward section of the mid-fuselage. I can hear the leak, but I can't see anything yet. I'm going to try to shimmy up to the manifold. Keep us posted. This one's fine. Next. Oh, we found it. I'll back you this up if you can switch out the can. Roger. Hunter, do you read? I'm here. Go ahead. I'm underneath it now. Yes, there's a tear along an I-beam. About 15 centimeters, up near the bulkhead. I think I can repair it with the duct seal and the IFM repair kit. Hey, I, I just had everything go off up here. See, the Onyx is overheating. They're shutting down because they're overheating! Hurry up with that repair. Are you good? Can I put this in? I will be just getting out of box, so try to that. Yeah. Almost there! Damn. there when you're ready. Almost. Finally. Okay, here it comes. We're in. 
Hunter, we're in. And telemetry is back online. Communications, navigations are on. Whoa, I'm feeling really dizzy. We're still losing pressure. Otto, what's the story? Hey, uh, this polymer isn't gonna cut it. Can someone get me the fix wall? Here it is. Take this down. Avionics is back up. Good work, guys. Where are we on Atmo? Still below 10. We don't have much time. Is this what you wanted? Perfect. I think it's stabilizing. PSI at 11.3. And climbing. Uh, let it rest at 14 for a while and then do a leak check. Alright, I, uh, I can't make any promises about how long it's gonna hold, but... There's nothing else I can do here. Hunter, you okay? Hunter, do you copy? I'm heading up there. Assemble the flight data and do a system check. Are you oh, injured? Shit. I don't think so. I'm fine, really. How is he? He's fine. You have them pulling all the data? Yeah, they're on it. I didn't like the sound of those pressure drops in the cryos. Yeah. I know. Okay, next we want a DC voltage amperage check. Roger. Uh, let's see. Main bus tie set to off position. DC indicator select set to main bus. Alright, confirming battery relay at 4.1 volts and uh, AC. At 117. All phases. We have anything yet, Tess? No. Nothing yet. Well, when did we send it? Almost two hours ago. Alright, uh, let's just keep going. Um, 
FC pumps off. FC pumps off. It's here. All right, everybody, uh, listen up. Modulation at interleave. Data packet banked. Verification complete. All right, let's hear it. Good day. The craft status data you transmitted has been analyzed, and the news is not good. You have complete loss of pressure in your A3, A4, and A5 cryogenic O2 tanks. Under normal conditions, this leaves you with approximately 60 hours of breathable air. Unfortunately, our most favorable calculations estimate that you will meet up with a rescue craft at not sooner than 91 hours. We've gone through the numbers repeatedly, but we keep coming up with the same inescapable conclusion. You will run out of air before we can reach you. However, it is important for you to realize that these figures are based on four crew members. If in the next 30 hours, the number of crew members are reduced by two, the survivability of the remaining two is highly favorable. Let me state it more bluntly. If within the next 30 hours, two of you have not ceased consuming oxygen, none of you will survive this mission. Thankfully, if you do decide to reduce your crew size, we can assure you the Crimson Capsule that each of you carry in the pocket of your flight suit offers an instant and painless termination of life functions. As to determining which two of you, if any, survive, well, that's a choice only the four of you can make. In that time, we will need you to burn off the rest of your hydrogen propellant to maximize speed, further assuring the safe return of the surviving crew. We await notification of your decision, that our thoughts and prayers are with you. All right, let's, uh, let's just take a moment here to collect our thoughts a minute before we figure out how we're going to do this. Pardon? Everybody just... Remain calm, maybe have a drink of water. Uh, uh, excuse me, Hunter? Do what exactly? I think it's pretty obvious from that message that we're... Gonna have some very difficult decisions to make. I'm sorry, um, can we just take a minute? Uh, and, and, and maybe discuss this? for a second? I don't think the situation leaves us much to talk about, do you? So what? No discussion? No anything? Well, what is there to discuss? I don't know about anyone else, but I, I sure wouldn't mind taking a minute to discuss our options here. Yeah, I need a moment or two to absorb this. Well, unless someone knows a way of coaxing a metric ton of vented oxygen back into a ruptured oxygen tank, I, I don't know what you expect us to do. No, I'm sorry. Look, we gotta do something. We could... We could do an EVA, go outside, maybe go back to the service module and see if we can repair some of the damage. I don't like this any more than you do, but there's nothing we can do. And an EVA isn't going to solve anything. The air is gone. And the sooner we accept that, the better off we'll be. I mean, we don't even know the condition of the I'm other I'm going tanks. crazy here. It's me, right? It's, it's, it's all me? I'm, I'm the crazy one? Look, as I was saying, we don't know the condition of the other tanks. And we could lose another one before this is all over. And for that reason, whatever decision we make, we need to make it fast. That's why we should do an EVA. I'm sorry, but once the crew cabin is sealed, it is against regulations to unseal it. Regulations? You're going to quote regulations at a time like this? Regulations are regulations for a reason. If the airlock is damaged and we can't reseal it, we could lose all the air we do have. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm just asking questions here, all right? We're still allowed to do that, right? Ask questions. This isn't a dictatorship. Questions. Like... How did a Class N spinner get within 100 kilometers of us without anyone noticing? Hunter, this isn't the time. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a second here. Are you trying to say that this is all my fault? No, th this is crazy because I was sitting right there at my station looking directly at Okay, the let's just stop right here, okay? Pause. Everybody just settle down for a second. Now, I understand Hunter's point, and I totally agree about the EVA. 
1998. Gone is gone, but with all due respect, Major, I'm not sure this is a situation in which the most conservative course of action is the most appropriate. I don't see any reason why we can't take a little bit of time and double check all of our figures, explore all of our options. What's the point? The point? The point is we'll know. I'd hate to make it back home and not be certain that I did everything I could to make sure that the most amount of people made it back alive. I say we go over all of our numbers, double check our math, do fault checks on, on, on the sensors and the monitors, make sure that we are operating from a reliable and accurate source of information. That's all I'm asking for. At the same time, we recognize that we need to set a time limit. We don't want to compromise whatever cushion we have for those making it back. All right. How does that all sound to you, Hunter? You have an hour. One hour. Okay. Okay, that's good. That's enough time. Okay then, Tess, I need you to run redundant checks on all the sensors to determine reliability. Auto, start redistributing all the oxygen into the good tanks and check out those chemical oxygen generators that didn't fire. Roger. Hunter and I will go over our consumption numbers and see what we can come up with there. No rock left unturned. Roger. That's what I'm saying. We're getting dead readings on A3 and A4, so we know there's no oxygen in those. But we're only getting an error on A5. So we don't know if it's empty or not. Although, it most likely is. What's the error? SN909. General sensor error. Could be the valve. Could be that it's offline. The tank could be full of O2? <laughs> well, I doubt that. I mean, it is right next to A3 and A4, so... Most likely it's vented out along with those. Well, yeah, but we don't know. The only way to know would be to go out there and do a visual check to put a gauge on the release valve and check it. You heard, Hunter. No EVA. I know. I know. Did you hear what she said? Taking into account whatever extra oxygen auto can find? So they're figuring 240 man hours of air. That's where they get the 60 hours from. 240 divided by 4. But for three people, so that's 80 hours. So nothing's changed. I'm sorry, Hunter. I get the impression that you're angry with me. I didn't think that I'm I was... I'm not angry. I, I just think that when we have discussions with the crew, we need to respect a proper chain of command. You sort of painted me into a corner there by suggesting that we jump through all these hoops and getting everybody's hopes up for what appears to be little use. Hunter, I'm sorry, but right now there is no chain of command. There are four human beings fighting for their lives. There is always a chain of command. Without a chain of command, we are just animals. We're not gonna make it, you and me. I don't trust those two. Those lifers, they always stick together. I bet you right now they're up there trying to plot how to get rid of us. No, come on. Don't do that. Are you kidding me? Do you think two majors are going to let two captains get out and not them? Come on, you've seen how they are, the way they protect each other. No, I don't. You are just going to make the situation worse if you act like this. Look, I don't know what you want me to do, but we all need to trust each other. We can't assume the worst in each other now. I hope you're right, but I just 
just want you to know that if any shit goes down, we have to have each other's backs. We have to stick together. Yeah, okay. Hey guys. Yes, Otto. What are you guys uh, talking about up there? We're just, we're just talking, going over our numbers. I don't have any good news, unfortunately. Us either. Hey, I just thought maybe we should uh, <clears throat> keep our mics open. You know, no whispering or private discussions. That way everybody part of the conversation, you know, everybody's kept in the loop. Yeah, that's good, absolutely sure. Uh, no one has secrets around here. Yeah, that way no one gets paranoid. True. Um, there's something else that would be a good idea. Um, now that it looks like we're getting closer to the time we have to decide things, I think we should start thinking about taking precautions. Do you know, for our safety. What kind of precautions? Well, first things, I think that we should um, disarm our weapons, pull the clips, put them in a place where they're inaccessible. Not, I'm not saying that I think things are going to get weird, but I don't know. I just think it's a good idea. I don't know how I feel about that. If the enemy intercepts us, we're going to need to protect ourselves. Yeah, but what are the chances? Well, nobody can say, but I don't feel comfortable. Well, I think if you weigh the safety and security of the crew against enemies unknown, I think the safety has to win out. Wait a second. You guys carry the AL-4s, right? Yeah, right. We carry the AL-2s. Why don't we just swap ammunition? Yeah, we can't fire with your cartridges, you can't fire with ours. But at the same time, they're still accessible. All right. That sounds good, okay? Um, Let's pass each other our ammo. Yes, we are. Yeah. It's about that time. So how are we going to do it? I don't know. There's, there's no procedure for this sort of thing. Hey, um, look, I just don't want it to be done by any kind of competition, you know, like a, a chess game or tic-tac-toe or anything, because I suck at that shit. No, we'll, we'll do it completely by random. We'll uh, flip a coin or something. Well, maybe not a coin, but something with two different sides. That, that way everybody will think it was fair. This is crazy. <laughs> I can't believe this is happening. I can't believe this is my life. It just doesn't seem real. But it is. And we know that. We can't deny our situation any longer. Okay. Um, I really hate to say this, but I think this is, it's a good idea at this point if we want to record a message for anyone back home that we do it now. We don't know how this is all going to turn out. So I say that everyone does want 
before we do anything, before we make any decisions. Otto, what are you doing? Otto. Hey, what's going on down there? I'm hanging this in the hatchway. That way nobody can close the hatch, shutting us both in down here. Otto, this isn't a time to get paranoid. We're about to decide which two of us are going to kill themselves. And if you don't think things are going to get pretty goddamn weird around here pretty quick, you're nuts. Hello, Joni. Uh, by the time you see this, I'm sure that you will have been briefed as to the events that occurred during this ill-fated mission. I will be brief as we have very little time. Please give my love to Sarah and Jake and tell them that I'm proud of them. You are a strong woman and I, I know that you'll do a fine job managing in my absence, as you always have. Thank you for your support over the years. I'm sorry that we will not be able to retire to Olympia as we had wished. I love you. Message end. Hey, Dad. Um, I didn't know who else to call. Is that weird? I was just sitting here trying to think who of my friends to call and well, I thought of you. You know, I always thought we were pretty close and we know a lot of the same people so I just figured you could let them know what happened. I don't even know if you're listening to this. I could have made it back okay but if I didn't, just let Cindy and Tony and the others know I said hi. And you know, goodbye and everything. Well, I don't want to take up too much of your time. I'll miss you all. Message end. Hey, Stan. Um... There's been an accident. We were hit by a missile in orbit around Vesta. And, um, we're needing to make some really terrible decisions. I'm not sure if I'm going to make it back or not. <laughs> so, just in case, I wanted to say goodbye to you and the girls. I love you. <laughs> I, I love you so, so much. You are such a great man. You are my soul and I have loved, I have adored every last second of the last 12 years I've spent with you. I'm sorry. Otto, what are you doing? I love you all so much. I'm sorry. Goodbye. Otto. Your turn. I'm not doing it. You don't have anyone you want to say goodbye to. Your son. Just in case. I don't care. 
It doesn't matter. Okay. Otto doesn't want to do one. But that's okay, right? Otto, honey, are you sure? You don't want to say anything to your son or your girlfriend? It might be the last thing they have of you. Can we not talk about this anymore? I've made my decision. Would, would you please just respect that? Of course. You can always make one later if you changed your mind. Uh -huh. Okay. I guess it's time to do this. So, in terms of how we're going to do this, I have a few ideas. I've been thinking about that too. Okay, go ahead. Well, since we're all out of fuel, and we don't have any propulsion or even reaction control systems, there really isn't a need for a pilot or a navigator. Just the mission specialists to monitor the mechanical functions of the ship. Just kidding. Seeing what you would say. Very funny. Do you guys still have the backgammon set down there, or is it in the galley? We have it. Good. I'm going to need the pieces from that, but I need to find a bag or something to put it in. What do you have in mind? I'll show you in a second. Otto. What are you doing? Are you okay?
There's more room down here. Come on down. Okay, we're on our way. I can't believe we're about to do this. It's crazy. I know, right? Whatever happens, I just want you to know it's it's been an honor flying with you. You too. Okay, so um, I have this bag. And what we're gonna do is, we are going to- A barf bag? Really? It's the only thing I could find. So what we're gonna do, is we're gonna put two white checkers into the bag. And we're gonna put two black checkers into the bag. And then we're going to reach into the bag, and whoever picks a black checker, well, it's a black checker. You get the idea. Sound fair? Sound fair? Okay. Good. So, um, who's going to go first? I'll go first. <laughs> no big surprise there. You're next. I can go next. I don't no, mind. No, no. Otto's next. Otto, I'm so sorry. Wait a minute. Black is good, right? Right? That means I live. Otto. What? You never were exactly clear. You didn't say the black one was the bad one. God damn uh, it, Otto. What? She wasn't clear. I misunderstood. Let's just start over again. You're not pulling this shit. Otto. What? I didn't understand. Now I do. Let's just uh, one more time, all right? I just will break your fucking arm right here. I'm not kidding. And I will blow <laughs> your fucking head off. I'm not kidding. Fucking gun away before I shove it up your ass. You don't think it's loaded, do you? Of course it's not loaded, you asshole. Now get it out of my face! Look, you're not picking a new checker. You're done. It is my duty to inform my superiors that Otto has a loaded weapon. I think. Bullshit. Is this true? Otto! Is this true? It's not loaded, people! Are you willing to take that chance? He says he kept a cartridge from one of the clips. Did you check their cartridges when they handed them up to you? Yes! Maybe not, I don't know. Everybody get over there! Now, go! So he only has one cartridge? That's what he said. Then can I ask you what your plan is here? Let's say you have one cartridge. There are three of us. Mm -hmm. Is one of you willing to take one for the team? Hmm? Well, whoever you shoot, the other two are going to stomp the shit out of you. I'll take my chances. I put the gun down, and you make me take the pill. Either way, I'm done for. Please put the gun down. 
I know this is crazy. We're all confused, but this isn't helping anything. Put the gun down and we can talk about this. I'm sorry. I can't die. I have to see my boy. I know. I know. I feel the same way about my daughters. But you're right. It wasn't clear. Let's do it again. Put the gun down. We'll draw again. We'll start over. No way! Now, I'm going up this ladder. And if you're nice to me, don't try anything stupid. I'll let one of you come up with me. No. I mean it! I'll shoot! Then shoot me. I'll do it! I, I really will! I'll shoot you! This is your last chance, Otto. Put down the weapon and let's work this out. Last chance? Last chance for what? What are you gonna do? I'm out! I'm out! Drop the gun! gun. Check the gun! Stupid son of a bitch! You could have killed all of us firing that gun in here! You get off of me! I'm not getting off you two. I know you're not gonna do anything. I'm done. I'm done. Just go ahead and kill me, all right? Just do it. No, we're not doing it this way. <laughs> this is exactly how we're gonna do it, you idiot. We're not dying like animals. Just be calm. Be calm. We're going to help you through this. I'm so... I'm so ashamed. Why don't you even get up off of him now? No way. You hurt him. No way. You can't sit on him forever. Look, I'm gonna get off of you now. But I warn you, if you try anything, I won't have a choice. Uh. Oh. Oh, let me go! Let me go! You have to let me see my boy! You have to let me see my boy! Oh, no, stop! Oh, no. Stop! 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 I don't want to die! Somebody put a pill in his mouth! takes a few minutes.
Everybody okay? I just want to go home. I just want to go home. Nova? Give me that thermal blanket from the cabinet there. Let's cover him up. I'm not staying down here with him. No. We'll all go up to the flight deck together and we'll finish things up up there. Stupid, stupid, stupid. I can't believe I didn't fucking check. So fucking stupid. Oh, stupid, 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 stupid. Oh. Done. But look, probably used up a lot of oxygen down there. We have to keep this thing going. Did either of you bring up the bag of checkers? No. We are not doing that again. I can't, guys. I'm sorry, but if you have to kill me, then kill me. But I can't pull another checker out of the bag. I just can't. It's the only way to do it. I mean, if you have a better idea, I'd love to hear it. I do have an idea. And I should have done it from the beginning. Putting on a flight suit. I'm going back into the service module to check the air in A5. I can't allow that. Like, I give a shit. We are strictly and clearly prohibited from going down... Oh, would you not get off with that already? There's rules, and then there's real life, Hunter. You'll endanger all our lives. What lives? You mean sitting around here playing eeny, meeny, miny, fucking mo? You're not going. What are you going to do? Kill me? Okay, 
Unpressurized. You have 15 minutes for a visual inspection. After that, no matter what, you come back in. Okay, I'm going into the airlock. Be careful, Tess. Roger. I will. Okay. I'm in the airlock. Sealing the hatch. Pressure seems to be holding. We're lucky then. But let's not push our luck. Just a quick look and let's get you back up here. Roger. Okay. I'm in. How does it look back there? Really bad. Lots of damage. Massive ruptures to A3 and A4. Looks like they took a pretty direct hit. What about A5? Uh, let me get a light on it. Looks alright. No visible damage. Do you see that PRO2 sensor? It should be right next to the supply valve. I see it. Looks fine. Alright. So it's not the sensor. So let's go ahead and probe it, uh, see what the cryofluid level is. Roger. Let me get a little closer. Okay. Uh, so you're looking for the cryotap feed-through. Looks on here like it's right below the crossover manifold. About halfway down. Yep, I got it. Let me know when it's in. What? Have you thought about what I said? Can't, Hunter. Think about this for a second. Okay, it's in. Did one of you switch off your mic? I heard a click. I don't know what that was. I, I heard it too. But can you hear me all right? Okay, I can hear you. All right. Uh, connect the tail to the avionics box. Okay, done. Power up the box. Power it up. Press tank volume. Scroll down to the... Did you get that? Roger. Tank volume. Scroll down to O2 A5. Press select. Then press menu. Select menu. Choose probe optimization. Probe optimization. Select existing CFD. Existing CFD, Roger. Copy that. Press calculate. I pressed it. What's it read? It's empty. That's what I thought. There must be a rupture somewhere and I just can't see it. Well, we all knew it would be a long shot. At least we tried. I suppose. Well, there's nothing left for you to do back there, so might as well come back in. I'm back on mid-deck. I'm coming up and we'll talk about this. Hunter, do you copy? Hunter. Nova 
do you read? Hunter, do you copy? No, 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 no. Hunter. Nova. Guys, answer me. We all have you. Nova. Nova. Hunter. Open the hatch. Open the fucking hatch. Let me out of here. I know you can hear me. You can't do this to me! Hunter, we had an agreement. We were going to pick checkers. Let me pick a checker. Look, the checkers are right here, still in the bag. I'm going to pick one. And no matter what I pick, I'll stand by it. Okay, I'm gonna pick. I picked a white one! I picked a white one! See? See? Guys, I'm begging you! to save everybody. How can you do this to somebody who did that? she doing? I don't know. Do you think she's taking her pill? I hope so. It's the smartest thing. I mean, she has to have figured out that, that we're taking the air out of that level. I mean, she, there's no other option. How much air is there in that suit? A minute, minute and a half. She doesn't have long either way. Poor thing. She opened the airlock to below deck. What the hell is she going back down there for? The cartridges. I can't open the hatch because of the difference in pressure. She's unlocked the hatch to the service module. What the hell is she doing? She's gonna fire at the O2 tanks. What? You can't fire a handgun in a vacuum. You need oxygen for the powder to ignite. Are you sure? I'm positive. It's not gonna discharge without oxygen. Oh no. What the fuck? Holy shit, she's doing it. She's firing at the O2 tanks. How? Tess, no. What's going on? Electrical fault in the A1 temp gauge. Switching to backup. No level drops in A1 or A2. Pressure holding steady. Now let's hope it stays that way. Tessa! Stop! She can't hear you. Tessa, stop! We can talk about this!
one, two, fuck! How is everything else? Hold on. You took out a whole array of batteries and some of the redundant systems. How bad is it? Bad. What about A1? It's maintaining levels. Stabilized pressure for now. Is A2 completely gone? Nothing. No reading. Shit! We're totally fucked! That was half of our air supply! This is all your fault. If we had just let her back in, none of this would have happened. Don't put that on me. That was your decision. You decided to lock that. You pressured me into it. I didn't want to do it. Why did I ever listen to you? Because when did any of you listen to me? If you all had just done what I told you to do from the very beginning, we wouldn't be in this mess. My command was subverted at every turn, and now there's only enough oxygen for one of us. So now what? Play a game? Rock, paper, scissors? Oh, we're gonna have to do something. I am not playing rock, paper, scissors, Hunter. Why not? I mean, who gives a shit how we decide? We can thumb wrestle for all I care, but we have to decide somehow. Will you kill those alarms? Shut them all down. I don't need to be reminded of how screwed we are. Okay? Nova, are you ready? This is gonna be the best two out of three. I am not deciding this on one draw. Agreed. And no redos. No redos. The decision has to be final. If you lose, you can't say, like, uh, let's make it the best three out of five. Right. Are you ready? Wait, 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 wait. Let me just think of what I'm gonna do. Ready? Okay. Okay, let's just do it. Okay. We'll go on three. One, two, three. All right. Let's just keep going. One to nothing. You okay? I'm fine. Ready? Ready. One, two, two three. three. Fuck. Why did I do paper? I was going to throw rock again. Why did I do paper? It's tied. One, one. This next throw is a tiebreaker. Wait, 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 wait. I just need a second. Okay? Nova, are you ready? I don't think I'm gonna be able to do this. You have to. I can't! Do it! Fuck you! No, but don't do this. We have to finish the game. I refuse. This is insane! Do you want us to both die out here? I don't care! No, but you, you're meant to be very angry! <laughs> Finally! A real emotion from Hunter. Well, how does it feel? Look, you have a 50-50 chance. One of us is gonna survive this. But if you don't finish the game, you're gonna force me to do something I don't wanna do! <laughs> what is that? Don't do it. Get away. <laughs> Mine's bigger. <laughs> this is ridiculous. You're a reasonable person. Let's just put the tools down and, and talk this out. No way. You're going to attack me. I'm not going to attack you. Put yours down first. We'll do it together. On three. One, two, two three. three. I thought you were going to drop it. I was, but you didn't drop yours. This is insane. We're better than this. It doesn't have to be this way. It is this way. Well, we've got 20 hours. You're going to have to sleep sometime. So do you.
stop it. Stop it. I'm sorry. Is my singing bothering you? No. When the wind blows, the cradle will rock. When the bow breaks, the cradle will fall. And down will come, baby, cradle and all. Rock a bye, baby. Goodbye, baby. The tree top. The tree tops. When the wind when blows, the, wind the, blows cradle the cradle will rock. rock. When the bow, the bow breaks, breaks, the cradle will, will fall. fall. And, and down, down will, come, will baby, come, baby. Cradle, cradle and, all. and all. Rock a bye, baby. baby in, in the tree the top. top. When the when wind blows, the, wind the, cradle, the cradle, will cradle will rock. When the bow when breaks, the, bow the cradle, breaks, cradle the will cradle fall. Will and fall. down will come, and baby, will come cradle, baby. Cradle, and all. cradle and all. Hunter. Oh. What's going on? Constituent analyzer. We're about Tornado O2. How long were we asleep? I don't know. What are we gonna do? Nothing. So this is it? We're gonna die now? Yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> Why am I laughing? Hypoxia. What? <laughs> Hypoxia. The brain is starved for oxygen. <laughs> <laughs> oh good! <laughs> I thought it was something serious. <laughs> oh shit! Ha 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 ha!